What's going on everybody? Today we want to show you how we apply large decals to the side of our trailers and uh, give you a few tips on it. You on out there? All right, let's get this thing moving. All right, today guys, we're going to show you how we apply decals to a trailer. It's kind of a pain in the butt to do some big ones, and we may have a few tips that may help you guys out. So, one thing you're going to need if you're putting on the side of a trailer is a ladder. We've actually got a lift, so it's going to make things a little easier and safer. So, if you're working off a ladder, just be extremely careful. I'm going to show you what all you're going to need, and we'll get to it. All right, guys, we got Miss Shiloh going to show you what all kind of tools she needs to get the letter on and then we'll get after it. Okay, so uh, of course you're gonna need a product to clean your surface. So um, we're using Windex. It'll make sure it's got ammonia in it. It'll get all the grease and grime off of it. You wanna definitely have a clean surface so that your glue will stay. You don't wanna spend all the money on a decal and go to all the trouble and then it just wash away or peel off. Um, you also need um, a squeegee a lot of times if you go to a professional and have your stickers done if you order them somewhere or if you get them done locally um, a lot of times if you do a lot of business with them they will give you one of those you can also use a credit card or that type product um, I use a box cutter also to um, help with bubbles and we'll talk about that later um, you'll need some painters tape which will help you especially if you're working by yourself kind of get everything lined up and keep it straight we've done um, some applications in the wind and you definitely want this. Um, of course your paper towels with your Windex. And um, we have a micro torch. I prefer a heat gun. Um, it would be much safer, but right now this is all we have here in the shop and it does get the job done. So that's about it. And of course you'll need your decal. All right guys, that's what tools she's gonna use. And we'll go up top and- All right guys, we're up here on the side of the trailer standing on the lift. She's got some painter's tape on marked for where she wants it and don't let her explain what she's fixing to do okay so we measured down how many panels we wanted to apply this so we stay uh, uniform with all of the trailers um, rather than uh, so many things do sometimes get bent or moved um, if they've had a rough life you may not can actually use a tape measure so what I've done with this is I counted my series of rivets to keep it all uniform and keep them about the same so I put painters tape up to mark that um, so I would remember as I'm doing that and that helps me know what areas I need to clean as well so I'm just gonna apply Windex and wipe it off really good make sure it's good and dry before I start trying to apply my sticker She's got the surface good and clean. Uh, she sprayed it with Windex, wiped it down real good, and took another dry paper towel and went over everything to make sure there's no moisture. Okay, so I'm gonna place my vinyl here. And a lot of times you, you can measure it. Depends on how big it is and what you've got going on. But um, I'm kind of eyeballing it here and I've got the bottom of my rivets that I've marked. Um, the rivet here is at the top of the um, E down here and it's at the top of the T. At the other end I've got approximately the same amount of room on both sides. So um, I'm actually going to have to get clay to hold that for me while I put my tape up and I'm going to hold um, first of all the top and hold that in place nice and tight. I'm going to go here to the left because I typically work from right to left when I apply decals and then I'll put a good sturdy one here at the bottom and that's going to hold it so then what i'll do is i will start from the right and peel back uh, the pre-mask and then i will tear off the paper and begin to apply it with the squeegee Okay, so I've got my helper holding the side. If you don't have a helper, you can take the top corner of that pre-mask and very delicately tack it to um, your vehicle, your trailer, or even the other pre-mask, and that'll kind of hold it gently. Um, and then you will take the side and you want to hold it away 
from what you're placing it on because if it's windy if it's if you've got any kind of issues it will suck to it and once it does it that's it that's where it's going to stay unless you peel it off and you want to go pay all that money um, for another logo um, decal or sticker or whatever. So I'm gonna hold the side and I'll start here in the middle where I pulled the paper away and I'll start pushing it towards the outside and I'll work a little at a time. This decal here is um, just a touch over four foot wide. So kind of gives you guys a little better advantage of how big this thing actually is if you have the opportunity or the chance <laughs> to actually uh, measure your product before you get your decal you would be of great advantage because what we had to do is we have so many different trailers different sizes different styles things like that sometimes when we apply them we just get a general size um, that's going to mean we're also applying over rivets and that's why you want your heat gun or um, your micro torch that type thing because it is going to be a pain if you don't get it to where it's going to lay down and it's going to seal really well you can get um, soap and grime and things like that when it goes through the truck washes and all that good stuff will get behind there and, and eventually it will wear itself off or or blow off and then that's just kind of a waste of time so if you can uh, get an exact size and get it to fit in the area that you need it you have really helped yourself out a lot and we're gonna go back over that in a little while and we're gonna make sure that seals down I'm gonna do the left side now so you can take off your tapes you're already stuck down to the trailer and you're committed you've got your uh, got your leveling where it's going to be there's not going to be any change in it so you can take these off now peel it back and just in case I'm going to take off my marker tape as well off of the rivets don't want anything sealed up into there where we can't get it off and then we'll peel that paper away okay again we're going to hold it out to the side Start laying it down with our squeegee or our credit card, whatever we're having to use. If you're using a credit card, it's not going to have this soft side on it. You have to be careful because you can gouge through the pre-mask and you can gouge through your decal, your sticker, your application. And then it's damaged. Sometimes it'll stretch it. Sometimes you may can save it. Especially up on a big trailer, you're not going to be able to tell as easily. Sometimes you can make repairs, whether they be big or small. We have had incidences before, so... In other words, she's saying, don't panic, just take your time and work it out. We've actually had decals fold over on top of a sticky side against sticky side and was able to salvage them and make them work. So you want to use the edges and the corners to your benefit and help, um, help get it in the creases and the cracks. Some people prefer to trim them or cut them and then lay them over. Everybody has a different preference. I am by no means any type of a professional, but we do this quite often and I do the best I can with what I have. We'll show you guys how she uses the heat to pull that around the rivets and suck it down good and tight. Okay, so for the most part, with the exception of what's over the rivets, um, you've got everything laid down really good. You want to go over all of your edges, make sure it's nice and smooth. Um, and the reason you want to do that is when you start pulling away this pre-mask, it can pull away um, your vinyl lettering, your decals or stickers. So you want to lay it down and you just keep it flat and you gently pull it away at an angle. So for the most part, you are applied. And again, we're gonna have to go in and doctor up over these rivets, clean all that up, lay it down, use a little heat. Um, but for the most part, that's what you've got. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut this for just a second, let her get her heat treatment ready and, and uh, 
We'll be right back. Okay, so we've got our micro torch started. You don't want to get it too close. You'll start seeing it kind of pucker um, just a little. That's going to make it more malleable and you can um, kind of lay it down. It'll help keep that uh, glue good and sticky on that. You'll hold it down for a minute and let it cool and it's actually going to form around that rivet for the most part. Just keep in mind this is going to be really warm. Uh, if you're sensitive to heat, you may want to let somebody else do this, especially if you have a heat gun. But um, you'll just keep pressing around it and eventually it's going to form right around that rivet and it's also going to uh, keep it good and sticky where it's going to stick to the trailer really good. Um, you can actually put on applications out in the sun and leave them for a little while, let them warm up. Um, Right now, as you can probably hear, we've got a good bit of rain, so it's really not the best time to try to do that. But uh, So we're using the torch. But you just have to be really careful not to damage it. Not to burn a hole in it or have it shrivel up because that can happen too. You have to really pay attention to it. Um, again, this is up on a trailer, so you're not going to have issues, bobos, uh-ohs, or whatever that's going to really stand out unless you have not paid attention and taken it a little carefully as you've done it. She just takes her time and, and works across and forms it around every rivet. You know, and it just it just takes a little time to get it. So you just have to be patient. Okay, so once I finish with this, I'm about to do the other side, and then I'll show you how to uh, get some bubbles out if you have bubbles. get our decals from that uh, if you leave them out in the sun um, it'll eventually work itself out I typically prefer not to uh, pierce the bubbles but I know some people do and they don't they just don't like seeing that bubble in there so um, sometimes if I'm applying it and they really want those bubbles out what I do is I try to find like here it's a, it has a darker spot you can't notice it quite as well and you're just gonna pierce a little line in there and you'll work over it with your um, with your tool and that'll push that bubble out um, you can do that on small ones big ones um, if you're doing it around a rivet or um, something that may be in your way I would suggest doing it just under it therefore if it uh, gets rain or if it's washed gets any kind of water behind it, it's less of a chance if it's on the under portion of it it's not gonna affect the decal near as much as it would as if it was at the top um, I try to stay just in the darker portions where you're not going to notice it as much. Okay, well, there you go. That's there how you, you have do it, it, guys. That's how you put on a large decal. Thanks for watching, and like always, if you like these videos, be sure to subscribe, and we'll keep putting them on there. Have a great day.